Well, what happened was I was over in uh, London with the Savoy Company at the time doing a trainee manager program, but my father died, so I sort of felt that she, my mother felt she would like to see me at home. So I, I applied for a best finish my trainee manager program in the Grand Centre. So I came back to it in the 1966 67, around that time, you know, and I did the rest of my senior management training in that there. When, when I have, went to the Grand Centre to do my to finish my training management programme. I really had done kitchen, wines, bars and restaurant work so I really just concentrated on the back of house and financial bit and front of house reception. So uh, having completed that then I became a, I was promoted pretty quickly after the training management programme and I became senior assistant, uh, junior assistant manager first and within a year or so then the, the Grand Centre uh, general manager was there, had left, and the, the senior assistant manager was promoted to general manager and I was promoted to senior assistant. And that was in light then, within months of that, then the Grand Centre made a decision to close. We often said to, at the, at the end of the troubles, you know, that, that up until 1993, 94, 95, I mean Belfast was way short of rooms in comparison to what it was in the late 60s, 67, 68. And I think in Belfast in those days there was ending up to 1,600 bedrooms. And it, at the end of the troubles there wouldn't be more than 700. Really just uh, the hospitality industry was decimated throughout the trouble and the Grand Centre was the first color, uh, casualty of, of it, you know. Was, uh, the Grand Centre was an institution and a, and a tradition within Belfast and it, uh, it, it did everything uh, the old ways, you know, I mean, everything, the silver service was pure silver service, uh, work was done by lamp work at the tables, and uh, also the, the linen was the best of the Irish, Irish, Northern Irish, Dalek's linen, and like everything was traditional and good, and you know, the silver, the silverware of the tables and everything that, that was used was, was all, uh, all silver and was wrapped in wax paper and things like that, you know, so they were really, I mean, it was, it was really top end hotel in those days. I was really enthusiastic when I heard of the revival of the, the Grand Centre name and, uh, and an hotel of its calibre to, to reinstate it in the city of Belfast. I think it's great, great news. I think the Grand Centre has to, 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 to take off where the old one left, uh, you know, and we maintain to be the premier hotel in the city and uh, to, be, to, to really offer a quality of lodging and everything that is, surpasses anything that you can expect to see. And uh, just to be a top, the top one and the top on the name and top in, in voice and everything, you know.